<laughs> Have you finally pieced it all together? <laughs> Case closed. This is how your justice ends. Shido-san, my job is complete. I've told you not to call me by name. Regardless, all that's left is to deal with the remnants. The continued deaths of these teenagers would be a bit much, don't you think? I considered making it appear they had a falling out, but that would only amplify public frenzy. It would be best to have each of them meet with an unfortunate accident once the storm blows over. Is there any possibility they'll want to avenge their leader? No chance. They're nothing but cattle anyway. They have no backbone without his guidance. I will keep my eye on them just in case, though. I'll be counting on you. They will live their lives cowering in fear of death. An apt punishment for obstructing our work. Make sure to kill that strange cat once you find it as well. Understood. Though I doubt there's anything to worry about. It's merely a cat, after all. More importantly, they should be dealing with the suicide right about now. Things will become quite busy once the word gets out. I'll need to prepare my comments on the matter. I must be prepared to deal with it on my end as well. Beyond that, what of the director of the Special Investigations Unit? Perhaps he'll be struck by a mysterious illness sometime soon. Phantom Thief Alibaba? Who is this? I am Alibaba, a member of the Phantom Thieves. I inquire as to your justice, Sai Nijima. How do they know I have this? Goro Akechi is evil. He didn't come to interrogate the captured Phantom Thief. He came to kill him. We could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. <laughs> Don't trust the guard, either. He's an accomplice as well. Now then, I'll tell you detailed steps to take. You must save him. You want me to save him? <sighs> huh? 
What is it? Um, nothing. <laughs> anyway, what brings you here? I thought you were done with your business. Did anyone else stop by? <sighs> Nobody? Th th there'd be no reason for anyone else to come down here. Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. So it's all true. Of course it's true. Is something the matter? It's a Ketchikun. He had to take a sudden call, so he won't be able to make it down today. Huh? I've been asked to handle things instead. Y you But... You know, <gasps> if you stay here, they'll likely get rid of you to eliminate any evidence. I suggest you go into hiding at once if you value your life. Y yes, ma'am. And don't say a word of what transpired here. Trust nobody. Forget this ever happened. And now we return to our continued report. This morning, the police have announced that they have detained a suspect who may in fact be the leader of the Phantom Thieves group. The suspect is reported to be a young man. Can I get you to look over here? Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm? So he got caught. That group sure was something. It, yeah. So the next shoot got me thinking. How about we have you do an idle thing, you know? That cool? What a surprise. To think that the one behind all this is just a minor. Considering how quickly they announced his arrest, the police must surely be confident in the outcome of this case. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be! Huh? Goodness, look at you now! It's been a while, Ryuji! Huh? Uh, yeah. You stopped visiting so abruptly, everyone was worried about you. Uh, it's uh, your second year, right? Are you still doing track and field? I'd love to see you run again. Also, the young man continues to remain silent, refusing to implicate any potential accomplices. However, considering the number of charges brought against him... I wonder if something happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You seem stumped for once. Not feeling it today? Hmm. Uh, yes. Oh, I'm not chiding you. Just do as normal at your own pace. With your skills, there's no need to worry about your future. Normal, right. He's just a high school student. How do you think he was contacting the others? The police here can search any online communications. His accomplices may slip up eventually. Still, it seems the Phantom Thieves' most recent targets have gone comatose. Actual harm has been done here. Given the lack of physical violence, their method is still a mystery. Regardless, the police are looking into attempted murder charges. You never turned it in? That's quite the surprise. I thought I lost it this whole time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, your grades are excellent. And you're student council president. I'm sure you'll be admitted anywhere you apply. That one phantom thief should have followed your example. You hear? It seems he was caught. Some high schooler. <laughs> I wonder why he turned to a life of crime. also received information that the young man was placed on probation for assault. Because of his previous record, he had to leave his hometown. Perhaps his motive lies there. I believe your father can rest in peace now. That phantom thief could never have changed anything. Only a handful of people are qualified to alter the world. So you've been coming home late. That's what I've heard. I make a good playmate, you know. We have breaking news. The young man being held in custody has committed suicide. The police have confirmed his death, although details <laughs> have not been released. To repeat, the suspect has committed suicide while in custody. custody. This station will continue to report any further updates as they arrive. It would be difficult to uncover his methods now. 
Perhaps that's why he decided to take this course of action. <sighs> it can't be. It would seem as though you have been killed. But why were you killed? Why did you have to die? Do you remember? It seems you forgot an important fact while your consciousness was hazy. Indeed, your death was a necessity for your escape from certain doom. <laughs> what a tremendous plan. How might you be capable of executing such a feat? Well then, let us rouse the memories which are missing. going you realized it too then it was our conversation about pancakes right there's no way he could have reacted like that if he hadn't heard me my thoughts exactly it was your social studies trip we met him in the hallway of that TV station. There's no way that this is the first time he's heard my voice. This whole deal feels sketchy. Yeah. It's impossible not to think that of him. Okay. Let's get everyone on the same page right away. There's something else we want you to look into. One more person has been on our mind. If it's possible, I want to eavesdrop on their phone conversation. Hmm, that'll be tough. I agree. Hmm. I'd have to plant a bug directly on the phone. So it's impossible even for you. I didn't say it was impossible. Mm, okay, I've got a plan. That's perfect. An incredible one. This is gonna be fun. I can't wait! <laughs> I see. So we're going to use this place. It'll be a gamble. I think it's gonna work. You can't tell a thing. It seems you finally remember. This game is not over yet. There are still things that must be done.
Hey, você está bem? Não durma até chegarmos em nosso destino. Está me ouvindo? Está ouvindo? Ah, sim, eu tô. Enfim, nós temos que discutir como vamos sair dessa situação. A Futaba monitorando o celular da Cat confirmou. Ele tem mesmo um plano secreto por trás de tudo isso. E esse plano tá indo longe demais. Não apenas ele está tentando nos culpar, mas também é o verdadeiro culpado por trás das paradas mentais. A sua oferta para nos ajudar era apenas para poder recuperar os Fentotifs e para matar o Jack. Se nós formos ao palácio da minha irmã, como ele sugeriu, ele vai nos emboscar com várias forças policiais. E pensar que ele iria tão longe. Agora eu sei o que significa ter calafrios na espinha. Além do mais, ele quer levar a polícia inteira do mundo real para o seu palácio. Se oito de nós podemos entrar de uma vez, dá pra acreditar que um grande grupo também seja possível. Ele pode ser capaz de trazer até veículos ou outras peças de equipamentos especiais. Então, isso tudo é apenas uma armação para nos culpar. Ele fez a gente ir atrás do Okumura. E então, quando fizemos a mudança de coração, ele o matou. E ele ainda disse que viu o verdadeiro culpado, mas era ele o tempo todo. Esse tempo todo ele tava trabalhando com a irmã da Makotsu. Ele é realmente um homicida maníaco. Cara, nós temos que acabar com aquele bastardo do Akete. Essas gravações já não são suficientes pra isso. Não, o Akete é só uma ferramenta. As ordens dele vêm de outra pessoa. O grande Mastermind por trás de tudo isso. Um demônio inimaginável com o poder suficiente para poder matar um suspeito da polícia. A não ser que a gente descubra quem ele é. Ele vai continuar nos usando como alvo, mesmo que derrotemos o Arquete. Mas, como vamos descobrir sua identidade? Nós temos que fazer o Arquete contar. Porém, se ele fizer isso, o Master Mind pode acabar nos eliminando. Eu acho que ele vai fazer isso, não importa se a gente vá ou não descobrir a identidade dele. O único motivo pelo qual ele ainda não fez isso é porque nós somos um alvo fácil para servirmos de culpa para seus crimes. Quando ele descobrir que não é mais possível e abandonar o plano, ele vai optar por nos matar imediatamente. Cara, nós não temos escolha a não ser seguir o plano daquele bastardo. Mas se formos ao palácio como ele disse, o dia que vai acabar sendo preso e morto pelo Akete. Palace. Palace? Na verdade, tem um plano que eu gostaria de conversar sobre o... Haha, nós podemos usar o Palace para nossa vantagem! Ah, 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 o que que é isso, então, de repente? Tem um jeito. Um jeito de passarmos a perna no Aquete e fazer o Mastermind desistir de nós. Isso ainda vamos descobrir a identidade dele. É sério? Só posso estar zoando. Se ele quer matar o Jack, por que não o deixamos? Isso é, dentro do Palace. Sim. Nós podemos deixar ele matar o Jack cognitivo enquanto ele pensa que está matando o verdadeiro. É, isso mesmo. Essa parece ser a nossa única opção. Ouçam atentamente, pessoal. Eu tenho um plano para podermos seguir com essa operação. Ever since the death of their teenage leader, the Phantom Thieves have fallen silent. However, the police intend on continuing this investigation until the case is fully solved. I'm sorry I'm late. I had to finish a few things at work. Where are they? Waiting upstairs. Go tell them to come on down. I'm gonna fetch him. You're... her sister, correct? 
Makoto told me everything. Futaba-chan, I'm sorry that I caused you so much trouble this past summer. Eh, it's ancient history now. Man, that goddamn detective! Look who's here. Oh. <laughs> hey, you big bastard! How've you been? <laughs> you must be fine if you're joking around like that. It truly is a relief to see her face. I bet that moron Akechi don't even know we tricked him yet. Still, how'd you pull this off? Isn't this guy considered dead? You weren't told anything? I heard my sister brought him here, though. Yeah, she came over in a taxi, dumped him off, and told me to keep him safe. It was right after they announced he had died, too. Almost gave me a heart attack. I didn't have time to explain. Hey, shouldn't we tell Boss what really happened? We wanted to make our enemy believe the leader of the Phantom Thieves was dead. What? What we did was make that enemy kill his fake in the metaverse. Uh, hold, hold on a sec. Enemy? Fake? What are you talking about? The true culprit behind all these incidents set us up. Our goal here was to determine their identity. True culprit? see. So you guys were going up against someone else. It was Goro Akechi. You knew beforehand that he was the traitor, didn't you? Akechi himself gave us the chance to strike back. He made one fatal mistake. Couldn't you have just said from the beginning that Akechi was the real culprit? That wasn't something we could simply bring up. We couldn't have you suspect Akechi. Besides, neither you nor the other investigators would have believed something like that, would you? True. Akechi was credited with the arrest of the Phantom Thieves. Not even I would think he was the culprit. In other words, you left him alone on purpose. That was a bold move. God, I can't keep up with any of this stuff. Uh, so what was this mistake Akechi made? What did he do? He slipped up in regards to Morgana's voice. You mean a cat? Yes, Morgana can talk. Uh, uh, sorry, was that supposed to be a joke? Oh, our apologies. That's completely true. You surprised? Does that mean he said something just now as well? But you don't understand him, do you? That's how it was for all of us at first, too. When you're in the metaverse, Mona talks like a normal person. Once you hear that and your brain realizes he can actually talk, you start to understand him in reality. It's a change in cognition, most likely. Thanks to Akechi's lame acting, we figured out something was up. When we talked to Akechi at the school festival, he was acting like he just realized Mona could talk. But we already saw him drop a mega hint about it way earlier. Oh, I know a place! I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here! Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. Mona was the only one who was talking about a pancake. That meant Akechi'd already been in the metaverse by then. And since he was lying to us about that, we assumed he had a hidden motive behind contacting us. It seemed odd upon further thought. His reaction to my pancake comment was an honest one after all. <laughs> 
That said, we weren't so naive to overlook something like that. That's why we asked Vitaba-chan to wiretap his phone. I pretended to be interested in checking the phone out, but I was actually planting my app. My heart was pounding while I was doing it, though. Even that ace detective could never have imagined a program being installed so quickly. Utaba's quirky nature proved to be a great help. That was just an act! After a few days of listening, this confirmed his betrayal. Then I'll guide the police into her palace and have them catch the phantom thieves in the act. That would be the only way to arrest them, given their methods. I'll deal with them after that. Let me see. We could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? Public security questioning will occur on the first day. And with that room, my task will be simple. Is this for real? Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. So they plan to get rid of that guard from the beginning. Well then, I will make the arrangements the day after the arrest. And thus, the dangerous criminal responsible for the mass mental shutdowns shall end his own life. When he does, you will become a great hero who saved Japan from evil. As will I, of course. I knew he was acting strangely. But to think he was this far gone... He's no ace detective. Akechi is the perpetrator behind the mental shutdown crimes. On top of that, there's someone else commanding Akechi. Someone with great authority. So great that they can order an assassination in a police station. That's why we had to make a move before they did. I see. We baited Akechi into Sis's palace, making him dispose of our leader's fake, but think he killed him. Can you elaborate on that in more detail? What exactly happened in my cognitive world? We're sorry for using you without your permission. Your palace had all the conditions we needed. What conditions? First, we required a place inside the cognitive world that was the same as in reality. That place is based on the real world after all. Anywhere that's not warped looks just like normal. That's why nobody but the person who uses the nav even realizes they're in the metaverse. Back with Kamoshida, we came in from the station without even noticing. You totally can't tell the difference if there ain't any distortions around. We had already investigated Nijima-san's palace when Makoto brought the suggestion to us. I was seriously impressed by that suggestion. To be honest, I didn't quite understand it, but I went along with it. Yeah. It's good we have her heading up our operations. Makoto is normally so calm as well, but once her mind is set, she gets oddly impulsive. I did have a bit of a rivalry forming with Akechi. But I just couldn't contain myself anymore once you became a target, sis. The reason I joined the Phantom Thieves was to heal your heart, after all. My own achievements were all that mattered to me. I was desperate. I wasn't myself at all. I'm sorry I couldn't see that. That goes for the both of us. We heard from Mako-chan that you were going to do the interrogation, Nijima-san. And regarding its location, I take it you used the data from my laptop? I'm sorry. <laughs> Go on. There were two things we were able to confirm while we were checking the Metaverse. First, 
Our clothes didn't change when we were down in the interrogation room. Second, the scenery and details outside of the palace proper were the same as in the real world. Once we heard that from Makoto, we secretly went to check it out without a catchy knowing. There was also one more thing we absolutely needed to make this work. A perfect cognitive replica of him in the Metaverse's interrogation room. Since he had yet to be caught though, there obviously wouldn't be anyone in that room. Once we saw the casino guests and police officers, we were convinced this would work. They looked no different from actual living people. After that, we just had to work our way into the palace like usual, while keeping a catchy in the dark. Everything went as planned up until we defeated Sis's shadow. However, it was then that we were met with a terrifying, unexpected police ambush. As a result, even though we managed to grab the treasure, we couldn't get it out of the metaverse. Except that was all an act. We had prepared an empty briefcase beforehand and merely acted like we were taking the treasure. This was because we knew the police would be coming for us. We made sure before the operation that the police would be waiting to ambush us. And just as expected, he totally took the bait. Him getting captured by the police went exactly how we planned it. And I had been interrogating him with no knowledge of this. But how did you lure Akechi into this cognitive world's interrogation room? All I needed were the coordinates. Akechi disposed of the fake in the palace and left thinking he had been victorious. It must have been truly hilarious for our leader who sat idly in the real world's interrogation room. Surely he was acting quite cocky by himself in that quiet chamber. So that's why you gave me your phone. I only took it because of what you told me. Ah, it's a shame I didn't have the opportunity to see that for myself. All I could do was try to handle all the messages that started coming to me on his phone. Huh. So in other words, I've been to the Metaverse, albeit for a brief moment. In our experience, there is little danger when someone enters their own palace for so short a time. That's the other reason we had him give it to you. We needed you to listen to Alibaba, deceive the guard, and ultimately aid in his escape. By having you head back to the interrogation room, we could return you to the real world as well. I mean, I had to think of some way to keep you from running into a catchy mid-assassination. Huh. Astounding. I hadn't the slightest idea that such a grand operation was taking place within me. I'm so glad he was able to persuade you during the interrogation. Even though we knew Akechi's plan, we were pretty worried about that part. <laughs> True. Why is that? Without Sis on our side, Futaba's plan and subsequent breakout would have never been possible. That persuasion was easily our greatest gamble. We couldn't consult Sis beforehand. It was absolutely the make-or-break moment of the entire plan. Still, I'm surprised you could convince me in such a short time. Were you confident you could do it? I see. Either way, I can't believe you went for such a risky idea. 
if we could just tell you the true culprit's plan, I knew you'd realize the bigger picture. Realize that our leader was telling the truth, and that there was a greater evil to pursue. As a result, we emerged victorious. Then the reason you kept this a secret from me was so you could catch the true culprit, correct? Yes. Plus, you had lost control of yourself at the time. This is stunning. <laughs> All I can really do is laugh. I've kind of figured out that you guys made a catchy kill a fake. But what did you do about the body? The police never even checked it. Huh? They had a coroner working to ensure his death was reported as a suicide. That coroner didn't take one look at the scene and just passed along a falsified death certificate. The bad guys have that much influence? Murder in a police station would be reckless otherwise. We also knew of a possible conspirator. Thanks to Futaba-chan's messages and the guard's demeanor, I eventually came to understand. And since the higher-ups at the police knew nothing of this, they were thrown into disarray. As a result, his suicide during imprisonment was reported on the news, just as a catchy planned. And with that confusion, he was able to escape with Nijima-san's help. I made sure nobody would check the morgue for his body, and thanks to that, nobody knows he survived. Thinking back to the interrogation, though... I can't believe what they did to him. The callous use of violence, and even drugs, is utterly abnormal. If he had lost consciousness, and hadn't been able to tell Sis about the phone, he would have died. I'm truly glad you made it back safe. I almost became one of your assailants as well. It still freaked me out when I saw the suicide on the news, though. We made sure to live normal lives while he was being interrogated to avoid drawing any suspicion. Even with that, I couldn't help but worry for him in my heart. Well, I knew right away that her plan worked out. I wanted to believe, but considering what we were up against... Ryuji's a bit on the dense and carefree side. Can it, Cat? I had to be patient and avoid this place until things settled down. I finally feel relieved. We knew he was alive, but it was difficult to not worry until we could confirm it in person. Now that I think about it, my interrogation was just a formality for the head commander. What a joke, letting me interrogate someone who was meant to die. <sighs> they just wanted to avoid backlash. Very well. From here forward, I will do my utmost to assist you. You saved me, after all. That's reassuring to hear. I'll do whatever I can to help, too. Just let me know. Let's take a break for now, though. This old brain is pooped. Oh, and feel free to use the first floor when you guys want to get together to talk. You'll need a hideout where you can be safe. Just say the word, and I'll close shop early. Are you sure? This guy can't leave. Plus, you won't make much progress if people can hear you from downstairs. It's not like this place is the liveliest joint in town. It won't be a huge loss for me. Let us accept his offer. What a great man. <laughs> that sounds familiar. It's me, Akechi. Enter. That's the death certificate of the principal offender, correct? Is there a problem with it? No. 
nothing in particular. More importantly, you've done well with regard to the prosecutors. The cause of death for the SIU director has been settled as a stroke. I had him work quite substantially on forging evidence. His loss should be mourned. It was thanks to his efforts that I could enter the Phantom Thieves interrogation room, too. The SIU is in disarray with his death. I'll take my time choosing a successor after the elections. At any rate, I'm now praised as a hero, and I owe it all to the Phantom Thieves. All possible hindrances are now gone. There's no doubt that this election is mine. <laughs>